she does ultimately kind of save the day, um, which is so nice that she does, chooses not to leave that place when, when, when faced with the option to go save herself instead of save the world, save the cheerleader, save the world. Um, but I, I, I think that there is an element of her being a damsel in distress ultimately which is what I will argue in the whole scheme of things when knowing the full story of Gwen Stacy, she does have those elements. And I, I, I find it hard to sit here and say, she's just badass, she's so strong, she knows what she's doing because I think that it's very important that people know that people are not just that way. There's also stupid in love and making decisions that can get yourself in the face of danger and she's all of it. She's a very well-rounded, I think, um, superhero girlfriend. She doesn't just fit into a box of being, you know, just strong and just smart. She's also got elements of being in, in distress and being scared and vulnerable and terrified in a lot of senses too. So she's kind of all of it, which I think is even better. She's human. It's very Romeo and Juliet. You know what I mean? She's going against her, against her father to be with the man that she loves. But, I mean, of course, ultimately, I think he realizes that he's not a villain. So, yeah, it's very, it's very interesting. Felt pressure once I was cast. I was like, oh boy, there were a lot of opinions and I was really freaked out. Um, but I tried to stop reading message boards as soon as possible so I could just do the best job I possibly could. Uh, the, and, and I had just known the Sam Raimi trilogy and then like folders and erasers and backpacks you know, with Spider-Man on them. So that was that was the extent of my knowledge of Spider-Man, but um, learning the story of Gwen was just so amazing and tragic and epic and I just immediately wanted to be part of it. And the fact that people had like unsubscribed to the comic books and like burned their copies, I was like, hell yeah. It's like being into the Beatles in 64 or something like that when the parents were revolting. I think there was something in me that, that loved that stamp on pop culture and that and that whole you know what what happens with Peter Parker ultimately in his relationship with Mary Jane because of what happens with Gwen. I, I really liked the whole story, swinging and being thrown out of window and things like that. All really fun because they all require some type of swinging, which I love. It's great. I'm a roller coaster fan. It's all good. So I didn't really have to um, do any true physical ass kicking. It was more, you know, she's she's a scientist, so she's great at con kind of concocting a, a serum that will help it all. But, um, but yeah, I had a lot of fun, a lot of fun doing those, doing those things. It was it was great. Gwen and Peter, you you first see them interacting after he stands up for a kid. This is before he becomes Spider Man. He stands up for a kid, and she sees this kind of heroic quality in him already but he's really mysterious and he's second in his class in science, which is a huge turn on for her because she's valedictorian and she loves that he's, you know, an intellectual equal. Um, and I love that she's the valedictorian and he's just under her. She's a smart cookie, which is great. Um, and she falls in love with Peter Parker before realizing that he's Spider-Man, before he tells her that he's Spider-Man. He also, she also becomes his confidant. She's one of the only people in the world that knows this, this secret. So it's, um, yeah, it's a, it's a pretty cool relationship. As far as the fan base goes, I think what's exciting is you're seeing P Peter being orphaned at five. So you're seeing how he ended up with Aunt Ben and Uncle May. Aunt Ben and Uncle May, coming soon to a theater near you. Aunt May and Uncle Ben, you see how he, how he ends up living with them. And then you see his relationship with Dr. Connors, which is kind of a father figure in his life. And then Gwen Stacy, I mean, that's gotta be exciting because anybody that was a fan of the comic books is like, where is Gwen, what is going on? That was his first true love before he met Mary Jane, so. Um, so that's a very important part of even how he bonds with Mary Jane ultimately is, is what happened with Gwen. It's fun. <laughs> Do you think what happened? I think generally, I think people are gonna are gonna like the story in that same way of of learning the story from the ground up and. Um, it's in 3D and 3D Spider and Spider-Man seem to go hand in hand because the swinging sequences and all of that are very, very cool popping off the screen. So I think it's gonna be a great escape for two hours to kind of go and, and live in this, this other world.